In March 2015, Stirnerline launches the world's first vessel powered with methanol. Through the fuel change, Stirner Germanica's sulfur emissions are reduced to zero. But getting there has been a challenge. On the 1st of January 2015, we got uh, new legislation. Our political decision makers had decided that the Baltic and the North Sea should have the lowest sulfur emissions anywhere. Um, we're very proud to be part of that, but no doubt it's been a big challenge. How do we address that issue? In Stena Line, the conundrum was that this legislation came actually very quickly um, and that technology wasn't really available uh, to, to how to solve this issue. Uh, therefore, we've been looking at a number of different avenues and maybe the most important one has been the conversion of Stena Germanica to methanol. Now, we're truly enthusiastic about methanol because we think it really is the fuel for the future. There are some drawbacks. It's expensive and we're experimenting with actually moving it from a chemical to a fuel and we don't know the full consequences of that. If, however, that works well, uh, we truly have the solution uh, to our big challenge. Not only do we address the sulfur issue, uh, but also we basically reduce all kind of particle emissions. And from that point of view, I think methanol is the most interesting of the fuels uh, that we have seen and therefore this pilot project and experiment is so terribly important. The methanol project is such great evidence of the fact that this is not just a cost increase. We're using this money to truly develop and transform shipping. And we now have an environmental footprint, which is completely different from anything that we've had before. So what we're really taking is upfront cost in order to develop tomorrow's technology and tomorrow's transportation, really showing that uh, shipping will be the solution for how to create sustainable societies.